morning guys, it is Saturday the 26th and it is currently quarter to nine in the morning and I honestly, I kind of like forgotten how to speak to a camera because I've not done it in so long. Now you guys might think that I've been like making videos regularly but the last, I want to say four to five videos that, have, that I've uploaded, maybe more, maybe five to six by the time you even see this, have been pre-recorded up to maybe like four to six weeks ago. Um, just because, as I said, I had my uh, master's deadline coming up, so I was like super busy with all of that. So I've not actually made a new video. In fact, the newest video that you've probably seen me make is the video, like the vlog, in which I move into my new flat. And I haven't even uploaded or edited that. I mean, yet. By the time you see this video, you've probably already seen that as well. Um, but I just wanted to make a little bit of a comeback video. Um, this is kind of going to be my last day in the life of a researcher, a cancer researcher video. Unless, unless I manage to find myself a job as a research assistant, which I'm keeping my fingers crossed and really hoping to do. But unless <laughs> that happens, today is the day that I am going to go into the labs finish off the very very last of my um, scientific manuscript which is what I have to submit and then that's it guys that's 12 months of my masters over it's honestly gone so quick and I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder now I look so tired I pr like I pretty much have like permanent bags under my eyes my skin has been breaking out because of the stress and because I've not been eating properly and sleeping properly and you know it's just been like a really tough um, stressful period as you can imagine with deadlines, but it's gonna be so sad to have to go and say bye to everything Anyway, I thought I would take you along with me on this wondrous journey Because I would like to one day look back and you know Just remember what it was like to submit my last piece of work and to you know clear my lab bench and get rid of my cells Oh my poor cells. They've been like my babies and like my pets for like the last, uh, well, six months for this project. So I have no idea I'm going to part ways with them. But that is life. So yes, I'm going to go finish getting ready and have a cup of tea and then I will see you in the labs. So it is 5.35 and I am in the tissue culture room, quite possibly for the last time, which makes me really sad. But basically, I'm just doing a little bit of lab admin, I'm clearing away my bench, I'm about to say bye to myself, which is so devastating, but you know, just has to be done. I knew we had to part ways eventually, didn't think it would be so soon. Anyway all of the being dramatic aside. So what I've been doing in the last couple of hours since I actually got to the lab is finishing off the last of my manuscript which I finished and I uploaded and oh my god I can't believe it's done it's out of the way and as soon as I submitted it I thought you know what I really want to have a paper copy just for myself so I went to the library and I printed off a copy of everything I've produced for this year so my dissertation my um, essay and also my paper and you know one day I might sit down and actually go through it with you just because a couple of people have asked me questions about it so let me quickly catch you up on what I've been doing for the last couple of hours because I've been sat at my desk and I've shot little clips here and there but the reason why I just shot little clips and I didn't actually vlog is because there are people working in the office area so I didn't want to, you know, stop vlogging and disturb them. Also, it's a little bit weird, but I thought this is literally the funniest thing. So I was clearing out my drawer as I was, you know, clearing out my desk and, uh, you know, preparing to go home, basically. So I was looking in my drawer, and my drawer is literally filled with empty food and biscuit wrappers and crisps. There was like a massive packet of Doritos. And the funniest part was that I almost forgot about the first drawer, which is paracetamol and indige indigestion tablets. Like, honestly, like, it's so funny, it's so funny that all I've been having is coffee and biscuits and Doritos, and then I have to, like, have a drawer with, like, medication to help me get through. I can't believe it's done, like, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself now. Literally, I love working, I know I complain about it a lot sometimes, but I love it, it's my hobby, and... I just, I, uh, I really need to get myself a lab job because I'm not going to be able to cope away from my cells. Anyway, I should probably 
get my babies out of the incubator say goodbye to them and you know I'm actually quite curious I might have a look at them under the microscope because I've left them to just grow so I bet they're going to look really really like overgrown and over compliment so yes I'll give them a quick look and then I have to take off the media and thin them which is really sad but then after that I am free to go home and uh, who knows what I'm going to do you know start of a new chapter all right I will stop blabbering and tend to myself. But actually, before I go, I have one thing to add. Um, I have been getting questions from a few of you guys saying that maybe I should do a Q&A. And I thought that's quite a good idea, actually, because my subscribers are growing and it might be quite nice to have kind of like a frequently asked questions kind of thing. So if there's anything you're curious about that you just want to know or you think is a fun question to ask, I don't know, leave it below and I will include that in my next Q&A. All right. Time to get to the cells. Hey everyone, so it is the 1st of September and you might realize that I am in a different location and that is because I'm visiting home and this is my parents' house. Okay, so after I filmed the last clip that you will have seen, I was just so tired and so exhausted and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go home and relax and obviously, knowing me, I relax by doing things instead of not doing things, if that makes sense. So I went home and I cleaned the flat and I organized a bunch of things and I met my lovely landlord and then I packed my bags and I just came straight home. It has been five months since I've seen my parents and around 12 months since I've seen a lot of my friends. So in these, you know, I'm only home for like a couple of days, like five, six days. But in these days, I've managed to see a bunch of my friends, which has been absolutely lovely and spend some good quality time with my parents as well. And you know what, guys? I don't really know what to do with myself now you know like now that this masters is over i feel like there's a void there's a science void in my life and i guess i gotta look for jobs and maybe find something research-based to try and fill this desire for failed experiments and sleeplessness i always joke and say to people that i swear i have stockholm syndrome with science it's like i hate it but i just keep going back to it I don't know what it is. And another way I like to describe how I feel about um, doing science and doing research, it's kind of like when you go through pregnancy. You go through nine months of hell, you go through labor, which, I mean, I don't have children, but I assume it's pretty difficult. Um, but then after all of that, as soon as you have your baby, you kind of just forget everything. And that's how I feel right now. I pretty much went through a year of hell <laughs> um, with all my failed experiments and late nights and all the you know, ups and downs. But now that it's finished and I've got my all of my work done, I'm just like, oh, look at it. It's so good. I miss it already. I want to do it again. And I don't know if I'm being really weird or if anybody can even remotely relate to what I'm saying. If you can relate, let me know. This is down below in the comments. Let me know down below. Also, guys, before I forget, a few of you have asked me to do a Q&A just so you can get to know a little bit more about me, like outside of science, which is Sounds kind of funny because at the moment there isn't a lot of me outside of science. But you know, once I recover and I start feeling a little bit more human, if you would like to leave any questions, then by all means do so and I will make a Q&A video. I feel like doing Q&A videos is kind of like a rite of passage for like a lot of YouTubers, so I kind of want to give that a go. Anyway, my lovelies, I'm going to try and avoid blabbering for any longer than I already have. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for coming along this Emrez journey with me. It is very sad to have ended. Um, but yeah, so I guess that is everything for now. Leave your questions, leave your comments, as always. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you when I next see you. Mwah. Bye!